Has this ever happened to you in the maths class that teacher is explaining a question all your classmates are able to understand it and but you on the other hand are just nodding in the class looking at your teacher trying to pretend that you are understanding it also at home you just get stuck at the very first question of assignment and after 30 40 minutes of hard work you just realize that you have just solved five or six questions are you really that dumb at maths or there is some way which is perhaps never told to you before well there is a secret which i myself used to become good at maths but i learned that secret very late well let me tell you same is not going to happen with you because today in this video i'm going to share those secret steps with you i can tell you right now that this is going to be your life changing video Imagine this. Maths can actually predict the future of anything by up to 99% of accuracy. Try not using maths for a day and you will find yourself not doing anything in a day for the 90% of the time. Almost every action of yours involves math in some or other way. You already know maths by default. Brain is constantly doing calculations day long. If you think you are not good at maths, it is just a wrong conditioning that you received. going up the well, question is how to change it now before we dive deep into it first let me tell you two steps which you need to take if you want to get good at any subject if you want to take risk well you may straight away go to subject and say i love you do you love me but i would rather suggest you to have some acquaintance first give your relation some time so do not just straight away go to class and start listening to what your teacher is teaching with expectation of understanding everything you better open your book and read the concepts beforehand and create some acquaintance this gives you advantage of knowing which part can create problem and hence you are more careful when that topic comes it's like you save the big argument with someone you love by getting to know about it beforehand from some resource which is your book or youtube in this scenario but how do you ensure that you are learning from the right resource imagine you were born on an island and you were told that there is no life outside this island it's all water around well let me tell you you will pass your whole life with this one wrong belief while on the other hand if you were told that there is a whole world of opportunities beyond this water you see and if you swim 100 meters and you keep increasing it daily by 5 meters you will be able to see that beautiful world in just 100 days now the story of your life will change altogether so the person telling you the story of your subject matters a lot you need to learn from the right person the person who tells you the proper scope of the subject the one who's telling you to go a mile more for there is a beautiful concept lies there the one who's telling you the right direction also to travel that mile for there is a full sea around you and you may get lost if your direction is not right that's your teacher now the time has come to discuss the step to excel and become a genius in maths you seen that like this before little broom when i came to the front door ask me if i should so for come what for train in the trees please what my For any sort of deeper and stronger relation you got to invest in that relation. Now we will learn what all you have to invest in this relation. Being friends with some entity sustains longer if your friend with its best friend. These best friends will always come to save your relation if some day something goes wrong between you two. Well in case of maths the first best friend is algebraic expressions which you study in the beginning of class 11th in basic maths. add theory of equations and the second best friend is tools of calculus which you study in basic maths or physics just make sure that you are in super good terms with these two entity and i can assure you you will cherish your relationship with maths throughout this iit preparation but to do this you got to have three things a teacher who explains all this in the right way a right book and of course the right way to use that book which brings me to the next point So I was very average student until my 12th grade but once I learned this art of using the book in the right way it completely transformed my preparation I was actually able to solve good theorems of high mathematics without any external help it starts with the confidence that if in a book there are some practice questions given after few pages of theory and solved examples then these practice questions would not require any information as of formulae and results out of these 
few pages. All it will demand is some sort of manipulation of these formulae and results. So after learning and understanding complete theory, you need to collect tools of applying these results in different ways through all sort examples. That is the purpose of sort examples. Now gather all of your confidence and start trying to unsolved questions with some attitude. Refer to your book or notes when you're not able to solve a question. Then after some effort, you finally get the right answer. Then your confidence and attitude will improve further for next question. And this just continues to add on. Referring to solution should be the last option. As of right book, well, any standard book for IIT preparation is good. Or let me put it this way. When you will start using your present book in the right way, you yourself will get to know about the right book for yourself. Just make sure you don't read solutions. But do you know what is even more dangerous than reading solutions? One of the biggest mistakes that students commit is checking the solution halfway through only while solving the question. This builds pseudo-confidence and is a major reason behind all the silly mistakes and slow calculation speed. You had to prepare yourself for solving the question till end and marking the right answer. Whereas you started preparing yourself for solving the question only till mid and checking rest of calculation from the solution. Well, in exam, there will be no given solution. Remember, it's the last quarter of the problem that takes the most effort and gives the most satisfaction. Coming back to preparation, well, I do agree there are some tough problems too. You just can't solve everything. Well, that's what I'm going to discuss next. Let me explain that in simple words. A tough problem is just a jump in your present progress level. If you keep on progressing gradually, then a problem which was tougher in beginning is bound to become easy after a certain amount of time. Maths builds upon itself. Complex concepts are just built upon the multiple simple concepts. Until you have grasped over the simple fundamentals, complex problems will stumble you. If you are not able to solve a certain problem, Try to identify the components of the problem at fundamental level and see which of your fundamental is still missing. You've got to master easy fundamentals first. That's exactly where your maximum time should go. Let me tell you, mastery doesn't mean being able to do things right always. Rather, it means not being able to get it wrong. One common trait of all the people who are good at maths is that they are extremely obsessive about maths questions. They won't feel comfortable if they don't understand something or they don't figure out how to finish a question. They are just obsessed with the satisfaction feeling they get when they are able to finally practice and figuring out the right solution. So do not accept that you do not know a question. You just don't know how to do it presently. But it won't be seen to all. And with that message, let me conclude this video and wish you best of luck to learn the maths in the right way. God bless you.